Hi everyone, today we're making sukiyaki. You will need enoki mushroom, shiitake mushroom, carrot, Japanese leek or shironeki, clown daisy or shunkiku, Chinese cabbage. You also need grilled tofu as well, I just forgot to put them on a plate. Slice the leek diagonally. Remove the shiitake stem and make a star mark like this. Carrot is not a traditional ingredient, but I like to add it to make the pot more colorful. For enoki, just remove the stem and separate it. And this is the grilled tofu. This is store-bought, but you can also grill it yourself. I'm making a sukiyaki pot for one or two people, so we'll only use half. For Chinese cabbage, just remove the bottom and slice into three or four large chunks. This is Japanese sake, which we will use to make sukiyaki sauce. Add 100 milliliters of mirin and a 100 milliliters of sake under high heat, similar to evaporate the alcohol. Then add 30 gram of sugar and 100 milliliters of Japanese soy sauce. Stir until the sugar fully melts. And that is warishita sauce or sukiyaki sauce. And of course, a few slices of high quality beef. We'll pre grill them, but only a little bit. Grill until one side turns brown, but leave the other side slightly pink. They're good to go. you end up with something like this. Shine the light behind the beef and you'll see it's magic. All right, let's assemble everything. Start by melting beef fat on a fry pan. Start with vegetable that takes a long time to cook like carrot, mushroom, and cabbage. Then pour some 100 milliliters of sukiyaki sauce in the pot Cover with a lid and let simmer for 5 minutes. Make some space and add the leek, beef slices, clown daisy and grilled tofu. Heat to boil, turn off the heat, cover with a lid and let simmer for 1 to 2 minutes. I think we're good to go. Ooh. If you live in Japan, you know that raw egg takes this dish to the next level. But if not, you can enjoy the pot with some rice. This is fully optional. This will either make you feel like, oh, it looks so good, or ew, <laughs> what is he doing? Anyway, this dish is easy, healthy, and delicious. Thank you for watching today's video. Sukiyaki is a simple dish. 
is basically boiling everything in a pot. But the key to an excellent sukiyaki is timing. Each ingredient cooks at different speed and temperature. Some absorbs a lot of moisture and some don't. Keeping each ingredient at its prime form is the goal you want to accomplish. Traditionally, a sukiyaki pot also includes shirataki, which is the white stringy version of konnyaku. I didn't include them in this video because, well, I forgot. But you can take a look at one here in which I make the second trial. Uh, it's, going, it's going to look more complete. Like that. For this week's item, I bought the vegetable slicing machine. This thing is supposed to turn any vegetable into strings and you can make veggie pasta dishes. I am not sure if that would be delicious, but you can give it a try. I'll share a new interesting item with you every week at the end of the video. If you want to see my collection, please visit another one of my channel called Teddy Sung Collection, where I upload ASMR unboxing videos. As for this one, I upload new video every week so please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing contents in the future. That is it for today, see you next week, bye bye!